Yeah, I'd like to um, respond to Ratso's stupid, retarded video. The guy's a total fucking moron. He said uh, that I'm too old. Um, he called me a racist. This is this see this is his cop out because when Ratso is faced with the reality of the truth, which he has no idea what it is, he doesn't. Because his life, his reality is a 98.7% white state. Now I'll get to that in a second. But he said that he called me a racist. That's his favorite word for me. I might as well be called the Crazy Joe Racist Show. I like that. And that I'm too old to change. Well, let me... Let me tell this little motherfucker one thing, okay? And people like him in his state of fucking Loserville, New Hampshire, okay? And Boston is the same way. Two white cities, population white. There are no black neighbors if you live in the city of Boston. It's just going to be... White, 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 white. And so is a, a maple syrup fucking Ville, New, Ham uh, New Hampshire. See, where I live now, there are actually black people out there who walk around and this and that. Plus, I lived in New York City where the black population is, and places like New York City and Chicago... More so because they left the South, the biggest population, either next to the South or even surpassing the South. That's right. All them black people, they all come to New York and Chicago to sing the blues. That's right. So what the fuck is this scumbag talking about? Ratso fatso. What the fuck is he talking about? I'll tell you what he's talking about. He's talking about pure nonsense. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, by the way, uh, one of my uh, executive uh, uh, producers said that when he called into the show the other night and pretended that there was no, no, no debate, he lied to his fans. He's a fucking liar. He knew there was going to be a debate. It was advertised all over social fucking media, especially here on YouTube. Um, I didn't mention it much on Face Crap, but I did mention it here on YouTube. And everybody knew about it because all his boyfriends are here stalking me. Okay? So if I put out a plug, they're all going to fucking know days and days before it happens. Especially when you have stalkers out here. He's got a stalker patrol. So they all told him, oh, Joe's going to have a debate. It's going to be on the crazyjoeshow.com. It's going to be at a certain amount of time. So who's the bullshit artist here? Who's the liar? Who's the manipulator of the truth? You guessed it. Ratso fatso. Um... And of course, New Hampshire loves calling people racist um, if you support Donald Trump. So if you support Trump and you're in that vicinity of New Hampshire, remember, 98.9% .9 white, you are going to be called a racist. And, you know, I, I just want to say, um, and he also said that I'm, I'm too old uh, to change, which is more propaganda out of this man's mouth. Uh, so he lives in a state with no black people. And how come there's no black people in New, uh, New Hampshire? Why is that? Uh, because they know that white people like him are prejudiced. So the black people stay away. Is that why? 
There's no black people in New Hampshire, hardly. Right? Right? Except uh, his sponsor there. Uh, it's a black owner. But uh, where's the rest of them? There is none. Between New Hampshire, maple syrup loving, dick sucking New Hampshire and Boston, there are hardly any, if not none, especially New Hampshire and uh, places like Vermont also. Oh, my executive producer wanted to, well, my spiritual advisor, I should say, asked me to ask Ratso Fatso, does he have any black fans? I've never heard any black people call into his show. So the answer to that, if I may, is no. He doesn't have any black, black fans. And, uh, you know, there's a multitude of crime that is going on that Ratso Fatso uh, doesn't talk about. Now, I wanted to make really one important point here. I may have to pause the video, so I'm going to do that right now, okay? I'm not going to waste time on the video going, uh, uh, uh. Just hold on one second. So this is my point. It's very difficult. I mean, I'm sorry. It's, it's hard to comprehend that this guy, R Ratso, and his fucking uh, douchebag Yenta Big Mouth over there, and all of his butt buddies over there, but especially Ratso, that he says he's not, you know, racist or something like that, but, but he's a hypocrite when it comes to racism. That he is. He's a big-time hypocrite of the fact that he lives in 98.9% .9 white New Hampshire. Hmm? And, you know, he's a punk. It's easy for him to say, oh, I'm, Joe's a racist and, 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 and you shouldn't be a racist and, 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 and I went to a Black Lives Matter rally and I sucked the dick of the black people and I kissed their ass and, and, and it's shame on guys like Joe and shame on people like him who are racist. We're only being called racist because we support Trump. That's the only reason. And uh, because if I said my other videos, far from, from that, far from being racist. But it's easy for him to point the finger. It's easy for him to talk his stupid, fucking, retarded shit. It's easy for him because he lives in a state that's 98.9% .9 white, okay? When he goes out at night, he doesn't have to be worried about being carjacked. He doesn't have to be worried about being attacked or mugged or assaulted or shot at or knifed or kidnapped or whatever it is that these black people do. I'm talking about the criminals. No, he, he, he lives in a safe environment. So... And he's got, a, he's got a radio show, and he's going to talk about, about racism? What the fuck does he know about racism? What the fuck does he know about black people? What the fuck does he know about black culture? He knows absolutely nothing about this shit. Zero. He's, the, he's got nothing but a big fucking mouth, and he flaps his gums and doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, he's like what they call an armchair quarterback. He just sits there and makes the calls. Oh, Joe, you shouldn't be racist. You're a racist, Joe. I'll tell you what Matt is. He's full of shit and he's a liar. He, 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 weas he tried to weasel his way out of the debate. I mean, he showed up, but he sure didn't debate, did he? I wiped the floor with him. And people are starting to realize that I'm the real fucking deal here. Not Matt Connington, fatso, ratso, douchebag. Public Axo. Yeah, it's hard for him. It's, it's easy for him to play the armchair quarterback. He probably doesn't even know that saying he's so fucking young. Matt is nothing but a punk. He's a punk-ass bitch, young, stupid, fucking ignorant asshole. Who's nothing but a fucking liar and a hypocrite. Knows nothing about black culture. 
and it senses me how this motherfucker can say, uh, uh, you, you're racist, Joe, but yet he won't come out of his fucking comfort zone. He won't come out of New Hampshire and come to New York. At least Charles Richardson came to New York and had the balls to come to New York. But Ratso Fatso doesn't have any balls because he's nothing but scared. He's nothing but a coward. And a manipulator of the truth. And I hope people see this for themselves. He lied about the debate. He knew the debate was going on. Don't play stupid with me, Ratso. But more importantly, don't insult your audience and don't play stupid with them. Douchebag.